Today we're going to be talking about these little boards, uh, inexpensive, I think I bought three of them for under $30 from AliExpress. And uh, the model, the model is this one right here, let me see if I can, there we go. So it's an ESP32, has 2.8 inch resistor touch screen, and the model is 2432 SLXM 028R. And you can look that up, uh, and if you do, you're going to find a gentleman on a YouTube as well as on the internet uh, who uh, basically made a lot of demos. This is one of them. This, uh, I don't know if we can, if I can actually, there we go. And I printed this little box, and it's self-powered. I put a, a little uh, um, conversion board, little boost board, which one uh, I can turn off by by double clicking the switch. Single click, I can turn it back on, and it makes out of uh, 18650 battery makes five volts, and that's what this guy needs. So I'm gonna put it aside. And this is Harry. Uh, Harry is on the YouTube as well. Called Harry Harry Fun. Uh, look him up. Uh, Harry Vigna is his name. Uh, and he actually programmed this uh, scrolling clock. And he did a beautiful job. So uh, that's that. Now let's go back to the demo, which I uh, actually I'm trying to do. The speaker that is right now running is this little tiny speaker. Okay, and I put a potentiometer, a 100 ohm potentiometer uh, on uh, between, of course, it's uh, between the source and the um, rep, uh, speaker, and so it's very, very simple wiring. As you can see, it's it goes from here through the potentiometer back to that plug over there, okay? So this is the least amount of sound I can get out of it and then this is the loudest it can get okay now let's go ahead and test some of these other speakers I'm gonna put this one aside and next next speaker we're gonna go with is this little one again we can just plug it in And that is the least amount of sound this guy makes. And uh, I'm going to jack it up. And it's going to get this loud. That's a pretty good big difference between that little one I was showing up earlier. And this one, by the way, has a magnet on the back so you can actually stick it onto magnetic anything that's metal. Okay, so you heard this one. Let's unplug this one, and let's plug in this little guy. Uh, bought it on uh, Amazon. So this is the least amount of sound it makes. And then, crank it up. And for this little speaker as it is, it has good basses. Let me just dial this uh, down. It has very good basses for as small as it is. It's actually the best little speaker I have. All right, and finally, we're gonna go ahead and uh, do the f biggest one. So that's the least amount of sound I can get out of it. And then, you can get this loud. Enough, Tony. Let's just go ahead and plug it. Makes it's annoying sound, but that's all I have is a demo, and uh, you can download this demo off of the uh, GitHub if you type in uh, ESP8266. Even though this is ESP82, uh, ESP32, but 8266 is a uh, compatible for at least for this demo for sure okay so I hope you enjoy this little 
uh, this little video. Uh, let's hope that uh, you'll experiment yourself with these little screens. Uh, Harry did a great job, so find him up on a on a YouTube as well. And um, Harry Fun is, I believe, it's uh, under. And um, you can enjoy uh, uh, his much more professional videos than mine. <laughs> And uh, by the way, that clock is now also on GitHub, um, so you can you can download it uh, as well. So thank you, Harry. Thank you guys for watching. Give me a thumbs up, and maybe send this to some other of your friends, and and they'll get to watch my videos. You have a great day.